Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be changing the rear differential fluid, which is uh, gear lube, in this 2010 Chevy Traverse. I'm going to tell you what you can use, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's real easy, and um, there's no reason why you can't do it in your own driveway like I'm doing it. Save a little money. So stick around, guys, and I'll explain some stuff to you. Okay, guys, so anything with a differential is going to be very, very similar. Um, there may be different capacities. There may be, you know, your your vehicle, if it's under warranty, they run, want you to run certain, certain kinds of stuff. This one calls for Valvoline Full Synthetic 75W90 gear lube. It's just 90 weight, okay? Um, so... After your warranty, you run whatever the hell you want in here. You can run 80W90, you can run 75, 145, whatever you want to run. This is just, if you're under warranty, you need to run what they specify because if something happens, they will run tests on, on your oil or your gear lube, whatever the problem was, transmission fluid. And if it's not what it's supposed to be, they won't warranty it. So yeah so i'm going to show you a couple things up underneath here now this thing i'm fortunate enough i can get underneath here i don't have to jack it up i like to do these as flat as i can as level as i possibly can get them um but yeah most differentials are all pretty much the same process you drain it you got to drain and then you have you have a drain plug and you have a fill plug um, this holds 1.5 pints, so one and a half pints. You know, this is a quart. There's two pints in this. But an easy way to, if you're draining it all, or even if you're just topping it off, I'll show you how to do that. You don't have to measure this stuff out, guys, like a lot of guys on, on the YouTube videos tell you. You got to get that specific. You got to get that perfect. And then I'll explain something else to you about where they're wrong when they say, you need to have this perfect and then they turn around and do something that's not perfect so all right let me see if i can get a light get you up under here i know it's dark um the sun's behind you guys so i don't know why i'm so maybe because of my hat i got a different hat on today i believe this was her dad so i'm gonna wear it um but i'm gonna get you under here and let's get this set up let me get a drain pan and I'll show you the procedure. We'll talk a little bit about it while I'm doing it. It's not a big deal, guys. Pretty much anybody can do this, so stick around. Okay, guys, so here's the drain plug right on the bottom. And the other plug, the fill plug, is right up here on the side. Right there. Now I'm going to get a light on there for you. And let me get you set down. I'll show you what I'm going to use to take them out. Okay, guys, so what this one takes, now yours may have a, a square a square plug in it, a male plug, something like this. I can't see what you're seeing, but something like that. Or it may have a square female plug, which would be a 3 8 which would be the same as using one of these. In that case, I just use a short extension and a ratchet. The short extension will fit right into it. Uh, it may have a bolt style. This one happens to take the Allen. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first is, this stuff stinks too, guys. I'm going to open, I'm going to take the top plug out. Now, if, you, if yours is stripped, they may have a Torx. If yours is stripped, I had the problem on the transfer case. 
there's plenty of room on this shoulder right here you can get you a chisel get you kind of a dog chisel and get on there real good whack it a few times with the hammer and it'll it'll break loose like that for you so I'm taking this out to give it some air for for it to drain so trying to get out of your way here okay now see here's what one of the things I wanted to talk to you about if I was just checking this and it starts running out like that like I said them guys will tell you it's got to be perfect when they see it running out they'll immediately put the plug back in and that's wrong because if it's running out you got too much in it <clears throat> excuse me so if I was just checking this I would just let that drain until it stops because when this is full it's full right to the bottom of your threads if nothing comes out then you stick your finger in straight don't bend it down stick your finger in straight and if you get it on your finger it's full but that's where it's supposed to be right at the edge of that and as you can see this was a little over full so I would say when it was filled it wasn't level or something it doesn't necessarily hurt anything I just don't like to run anything over full so <clears throat> So now that we got the top out, I'm going to go ahead, since we're changing this, I'm going to pull the bottom one. They're a little tight. Like I said, you can use a 10 millimeter uh, Allen wrench on this, but you'll probably have to put a little pipe or a wrench or something on it to give you leverage. But when you got a differential, like these arcade or um, uh, the Enclaves, the Arcadias, the uh, Equinoxes, they all have the same drivetrain. In fact, the transfer case we put in here is out of a Buick Enclave, a 2011. There we go. And it's looking to me like I've seen some. Yeah, see, there's metal here. Now, I don't know what you're seeing because I can't see the screen. But there's that is metal. That silver stuff. Okay, so. And these are usually magnetic. To because you know metal's the heaviest part, and it will go down to the bottom, and usually these are a little magnetic. Sometimes they even have a little magnet in them, like uh, automatic transmissions do. See, that is all metal shaving, so I'm not liking that at all. Because I thought I heard a noise in this rear end, and I thought that's what I was hearing. But then the transfer case exploded, and then... Uh, after I change the transfer case, I'm not. We're not hearing that noise anymore. So, I mean, you're going to get some metal shavings, stuff like that. But this this has only got. I know it sounds like a lot, but anymore it's not. This has only got 130,000 miles on it. Now this is real thick stuff, guys, and this stuff stinks. Let me warn you, it does stink. So, yeah, these plugs are a little different. The one on the bottom is a little longer and it's got a magnetic piece on it right here. As you can see the top one does not have that so don't mix them up. Make sure the longest one goes in the bottom into the drain. So let me go ahead clean my hands up because I'm going to be messing with my camera. I'm going to go ahead and let that drip for a while. and. Uh, now I didn't, but you can run it up and down the road a mile or two, a couple miles, get it warmed up, and that helps get everything out of it. Then I'll show you how we're going to put this in, because if you notice that stuff would be hard to squirt into there. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and show you now. This right here is the transfer pump. That monkey got this for me when I did the trans the transfer case. This is a transfer pump. It's just a little hand pump. You're going to put down into your into your gear lube, and you're just going to pump it, and then it's got a hose that you can pump right into it. This thing was $13. It's $12.99 plus tax. 
even if you do one of these, I recommend getting one of them because I'll tell you that they, those things, if you use it one time, you'll thank me. No, I'm not going to be there, but you'll do it in your head. You'll go, thanks, Shaver. That really helped me a lot. So, yeah, it's called a transfer pump. Just get the cheapest one you can. If you plan on doing a lot of these, order you a decent one, you know. Uh, and it's not just for, I mean, you can, you know, transfer oil out of, um, like, let's say your lawnmower. Um, some lawnmowers now, like you even push mowers, they don't even have a drain plug. And they want you to turn it upside down. Well, they really don't want you to change your oil at all. But you can stick this down in there and pump your oil out. Um, you can put another tube on here if you get too much. You change your transmission fluid, you put too much in. You can put you another longer tube, stick this down in to your transmission, pull some of that out. These things are awesome. Um, so, do you need it? No, but trust me, you'll want, you'll want to get one. I mean, if you're going to spend $20 on this, you know, lube, you know, it's... <laughs> what's well, another 13 bucks I understand money wise we're very tight too but I said you know pick me up one in pumps because it just saves so much hassle trying to get it get you find you a rubber hose to stick on the end of this thing and trying to get it up high enough to squirt your stuff or you know to pour your stuff down in so let me let this drain I'm gonna go have a pop while this is dripping then we'll put the plug in, and I'll show you how to fill it. It's real easy. But yeah, those, those guys, like I said, that were talking, you know, oh, you, you got to have the right exact amount. Well, actually, no, you don't. You, you don't have to measure that out and all that stuff like them guys do. And then they'll go and pull that plug out. Okay, it's full and stick it back in. Let that drip until nothing else comes out if you're just checking it. Okay, now if your front end's up in the air, you might not want to do that because you know your fluid your gear lube is going to run back and it's going to be higher it'll give you a false reading but if you're on flat level ground like we are our driveway kind of slopes down towards me but the back of this the back of these traverses set a little higher than the front so i'm pretty much level as level as i can get um if you got access to a lift that's even better they're perfectly level so or thereabouts but um yeah I'm, I'm as level as you can get right now so yeah i'm fortunate enough i can crawl under here without jacking it up but if you do have to jack the back up try to get something under the front too to make it level because if you jack the back up same thing you know it may all your gear lube is going to go to the front and it's going to give you a false reading like you're low <coughs> excuse me and you'll add it when you don't really have to so anyway yeah just if you're just checking it and you pull that plug out of there and you're as level as you can get and it starts running out just let it run out until it stops and then that's you know you're done then so hang tight guys and i'll be back with you okay guys i'm back been about 20 minutes as you can see nothing else is coming out wipe your plug off real good no special washer um, well I guess you can say it does but it'll stay on there but if it does come off or stay on here make sure that you get it put back on also make sure you wipe that off when you get completely done Take some brake clean. I don't have any, but if you got some, take some brake clean. Spray that off so that way you'll know if you have any new leaks, whatnot. Okay, so we're going to put this in, tighten it up. It don't have to be super tight. Great, now my socket's stuck on there. I can move this now, so. There we go. Now, we're gonna put, whoops, sorry guys. We're gonna take this off of here. 
and we're going to put our pump in probably best to do that before you get it under here but I wanted to show you that so because this stuff stinks stick this down in here and this will just it doesn't screw on it just pops on like that um, this will also fit a uh, gallon jug like I said it's a transfer pump the guy at stupid auto zone see them guys they, they're not mechanics guys don't ask them for help they're they're salesmen you know they're in, oops, sorry they're in retail they're not mechanics okay so I don't know if you're seeing that and then just start pumping it it'll pick up here in a second there it goes now what I'm going to do like I said I'm not measuring I'm just going to pump it until it starts running out and once it starts running out then I'm just going to let it run until it stops and once it stops like I said a lot of guys will start pumping in as soon as it starts running out they grab the plug real quick and put it in let it finish running if it starts running out let it finish running out but yeah that guy told her well that pump's not going to work and she said why not he said because that's a transfer pump yeah you're transferring you know liquids but so she asked another guy and she said Is, will this work and he he said yes it, it that's what that's for and then and this is the younger guy and he says well if that don't work you can't bring it back well if it doesn't work if and it's defective i'm gonna bring it back you know it's that simple <laughs> tell me i can't bring back a pump because because he was adamant it's not going to work it's a transfer pump yeah that's what you're doing you're transferring this gear lube into that differential or in that in the case the other day into my transfer case so so i'm going to get this under here sorry guys if i had a lift it'd be a lot easier to film for you guys but as you can see this is all I'm doing just pumping this up make sure it's going in there Like I said, it'll probably take three-fourths of this bottle. But, and I'm not down to half yet. <coughs> Excuse me, but. You don't really have to measure it. Just put it in until it starts coming out. Once it starts coming out, let it come out until it stops. And it's perfectly full. We're getting close now. All right, I'm going to speed you up. took that whole quart which I've got more it's not a big thing but I'm gonna go ahead let's take this out and I'm just going to check it with my finger and it's perfectly right on top there so it took about a quart 
the capacities in your manual, your uh, the owner's manual of this thing will not tell you anything about your transmission or nothing like that. I know, so I'm gonna let that set for a minute. See, it's start, it's dripping out. So I'm just gonna let it drip until it stops dripping, and then this is done. So stick around, and then we'll get out from under here. Okay, I think you guys can see that. It's pretty well. It's pretty well stopped. So I'm going to go ahead and put the plug in. That little drip, that's okay. Just if you pull it out and a whole bunch of stuff starts running out and you're just checking it, just let it run till it stops or you know, drips like this is fine. All right, there's that. A 3 8 Allen will work in this, but it, the 10 fits a little bit better. As you can see, it wants to stick too. So make sure you wipe all this off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get this all dried off so I don't see a little puddle later, thinking I got a leak. Like I said, it's best if you got some kind of brake cleaner or carb cleaner you can spray on there but I am all out so all right I want to fight and get you guys out of here now all right guys so that's it 2010 Chevy Traverse Buick Enclave Equinox Arcadia all pretty much the same just put it in until it starts coming out once it starts coming out let it stop when it stops, put your plug in, you're done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, ledge. I'm gone for now. Just a quick how-to video for you. Pretty much anyone can do. So, all right, guys, stay safe. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, ledge. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.